When you first sign up for Flip Pilot, one of the first things that you're probably going to want to do is go ahead and import in any existing contacts that you already have into the system, any existing leads that you've already been working. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import a couple that I have created a little sample for. And when we do this, uh, one of the things that we're going to go over is how to make sure that you put them into the proper status. And so the two that I'm gonna put in, uh, one we're gonna put into needs follow-up, and one we're gonna put into buying closing. Um, by default, if you don't have a status, it's gonna go ahead and put it into new, um, and that's totally fine if you wanna start that way, but uh, we're gonna work, the, uh, like I said, into needs follow-up and buying closing. So the way that we do this is we're gonna click up here, up top on the three dots, and then scroll down to imports. And we actually have pretty much all of the instructions right here for you on the screen. Uh, it's really simple. So one thing that you'll want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and download this sample CSV file. That way you can actually see the headers that we need to identify the various fields. And what you can do is you can either merge your existing spreadsheet into, uh, into that one or you can just go ahead and adjust your headers uh, to upload it in. Uh, that spreadsheet looks like this, uh, and it's gonna go ahead and have all of this header information uh, up here. Uh, I've actually scrolled way down, but uh, you'll also have information here in this second column uh, that's telling you what to put in there. Um, for instance, status, like we were talking about just a minute ago. I want to go ahead and make sure that in mine, it's gonna go ahead and say, uh, it needs follow-up and that we are buying and closing on it. This is based off of the statuses that you have in your system. So what you want to do is when you are inputting that uh, in on your spreadsheet, you just want to make sure you copy whatever it actually is up here. You can do the same thing with campaigns uh, and motivations as well. So here is my sample uh, sheet that I have already and you can see I've got a couple of uh, properties in here uh, that I've worked uh, and I've got the statuses updated. So I'm going to go ahead and download this CSV file and we go to download CSV and I'm going to go back to flip pilot and all I'm going to do is just drag that over here and once I do that I'm going to put in today's date you can put in whatever you want I'm going to click start validation and so this is just going through the process of validating that file. If there are any issues, you'll actually see it pop up right here. Uh, and there'll actually be a button that lets you uh, click on it and you can see what the issue is with your spreadsheet. If you're having issues with that, uh, feel free to send us an email or you can always uh, just ask in the intercom chat. But I don't have any issues at all with this one, so I'm going to go ahead and click on import. And that's going to go ahead and bring in those two records and it's uh, uh, taken care of now it's been imported and so if i go back to my pipeline you'll see that we have a new one here here's that property 4317 and then down here is the other one so they have been put into the correct uh, places that i want them on my status pipeline so uh, if you have any questions let us know but that is basically how you import things into flip pilot